Hi guys, I'm just going to show you in a couple of quick easy steps how to put together our merchandising units. So to start with, unpack the, the merchandising pack and make sure you've got all the components. So there should be two triangle pieces, three shelves and one piece of acrylic. So it all slots together without any screws. Basically you stand your triangle up, take your shelf, make sure that the groove is facing towards the angle. Carefully line it up with the slot and then just press it home firmly. Do the same on the other end. Then flip it over, place the next shelf in, again making sure that the rebate faces the angled surface on the front of the cabinet. And lastly, the little shelf at the back. Just placing the rebate facing down this time. Right, once that's done, stand the unit up on its end. Take your acrylic, peel away the protecting paper. In a number of steps. Slide it down into the groove on the face of the cabinet. Just pressing it home until it's flush. Voila. In our range of assorted packages, we have two packs that have carry handles on them. Now, when they arrive, they come folded down. So I'll just run through setting one of these up and let you know how it's done. First we open the carton and you'll notice that it's either taped down or heat shrinked. So we've taken it out of its carton just remove the sellotape. And fold the tabs back. The leading edge needs to be folded down, and then you fold the tab back like that. You repeat it on the other side. them right back out of the way, remove the tags, fold the outer pieces, like so just tucking them inside the packet. Bring the handle into place, both sides. Push them through the slots, just like that. Now, once that's done, the handle's not actually strong enough to carry the back the, the packet, so we do need to get a hand underneath it when we lift this one. Okay, so I'm just going to take a moment to talk about the product range and the way that we've presented it. What I've done here is on my right, we've got the loose items displayed so that people can actually see what's in a lot of these packs. And on the left, we've got the contents of these three packs here. So this large beast here on the right hand side, these are fan cakes. So they come inside the Hellraiser pack. So there are four of those. You can sell them loosely or you can sell the entire pack together. They are a fan shaped effect. So they fire up at a wide angle and it takes up a lot of sky. They're one of the best ways to really show off to your neighbours. The next cake across here is a 10 shot round cake. So they make a big burst of colour on the ground and they shoot up into the sky and make a big loud bang. 
with a lot of colour afterwards as well. Then we've got the Fury down here, which is one of the most energetic fireworks we sell. They burn for nearly three minutes. They're really impressive and a lot of fun. Good value for money. Then we've got our high caliber 22mm Fat Boy Insider and Red Devil Roman Candles. Now, they're sold singly or collectively in the Annihilator pack here. Now, directly in front of me here, We've got the rapid fire pack, or the contents of the rapid fire pack. That's this one here. So that's a wide range of all of our really popular classic 12 gauge Roman candles. So we've got classics in there like the White Spider, Mighty Cannon, Galaxy Candle. They've been really, really popular in New Zealand for quite a few years now. Now we've also got Brown Bloom Flowers here. Now they're sold in bricks of 80 or in a tray of 20. So they're really good value for money and they're very, very popular. Lots of fun. Now this little thing here that I keep knocking is the six foot magic whip. It's uh, effectively a pack of double happies. So you hang that from a tree, you light the fuse, it's six feet long and it goes bang, 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 bang. Absolutely brilliant fun. Uh, now we've got a couple of fountains in here as well. At the back you can see there's the Garden Party Fountain, which is a 9 inch fountain. Very, very typical classic fountain. Down the bottom we've got a high energy conic fountain. They start out small with a bright bit of colour and they build up to a big noisy crackling roar. And these two beasties here, the Red Dwarf and the Supernova, are hands down the biggest, baddest, loudest fireworks available in New Zealand. So they're a real value for money and a real impressive firework. That's the firework that when somebody's got, come through and spent all of their money, you want to upsell them on that just for a finale piece. Absolutely brilliant. They will be the hottest sellers in New Zealand this year. So next we've got the super candles. So available in a packet of three or individually. There's a red one, a blue one and a green one in there. They're a lot bigger so they get a lot more height than the other fireworks. They're a lot longer, so they get a lot more height than the other uh, fireworks do. Um, so they're really impressive as well. We move along here, we've got the Formula 5 Racer. Now that's actually a driving car. So you get two of those in a pack for $5. You light the fuse, you place it on the ground on a flat surface, light the fuse, and it takes off and then stops, blows a few pretty colours, and then comes back again. So that's a lot of fun. Now the family pack. The contents are displayed here. That's a brilliant pack for somebody who doesn't want to spend a lot of money and is just participating in fireworks because the kids have told them to. We move up from that. We've got the bumper pack. Now that's a great mid-range assorted pack. They're $45 and it's got a, a nice range of all the different fireworks that somebody wants to see in it. Now over the top of that we've got the party pack which is our entry level performance fireworks pack. So that's um, everything that's in the bumper pack and everything that's in the rapid fire assortment as well. So it's a great way to get the best of both of those wheels. Now after that we step up to the big guns. We've got the Armageddon assortment which has a wide range of our bigger heavier performance pieces. Lots of Roman candles, lots of fountains and lots of little novelties as well. This one's good for at least an hour and a half on the lawn with your family. And following up from that is the Asylum Pack. Now if you're really mad about fireworks, this is the baby for you. So once you've opened up your merchandising pack, you'll notice that there's quite a few bundles of paper in there. Uh, the first one is the Bike Barn Flyer. Now, the best idea here is to get one of these into absolutely every customer's hand between now and the start of November. So get all of these spread out, let people know that Fireworks is coming, let them know that everybody who spends over $50 can go into the draw to win a bike. Um, it's $1,000 worth of bike too, so it's a good value. The second piece of, or the second bundle of paper you're going to find is our competition entry form. So Pirate Company Fireworks is giving away 10 Goliath assortments. Now, I don't have a Goliath to show you, but they are this big, and they're absolutely huge. It's a two-man lift, it's a thousand dollar fireworks assortment. We're giving 10 of those away nationwide, so people can sign up here uh, for our newsletter. Everybody that signs up goes in the draw to win the Goliath, and we'll be drawing that prize 
on the 5th of November at 5 o'clock on ZM nationwide and those will be drawn from 10 different stores right across the country. So we're trying to make sure that everybody gets a chance to win. Okay. So you'll also find the Pyro Company Fireworks Guy Fawkes catalogue. So inside here there's pictures of most of the products and pricing information for people. So make these available for all of your customers to take away, bring them to their attention. When they come in and buy something from you, also hand them one of these, hand them a flyer, let them know that Fireworks is coming to buy from Now, just a couple of points about how we've chosen to set up the layout of the stall here. The first thing to notice is we've set the access to it up to make sure that people can't just amble in here easily, because we don't want people getting to the back of the display stand. Uh, the second thing to notice is it's facing the door. So as people come in, one of the first things that they're going to see is the fireworks stand. Uh, the third thing that I'd like to point out is we're using the space under the tables here to store the loose items, not the assorted packs. So when we bring the assorted packs out of stock, we'll grab a full carton, bring it over and stack the entire carton worth of stock on top of the table. And then we fold up the carton, we'll flat pack the carton, and put it out the back in case we do need to use it to send stock back. But the key detail to remember is you're not serving from the cabinets. You simply use the cabinets to display the stock. When somebody asks for an item in the cabinet, you should be able to take it from the carton underneath. It just makes things a lot easier. It keeps your workspace a lot cleaner as well. Also in your merchandising pack is the risk management and emergency procedure information folder. So inside this, You've got the code of practice for retail fireworks, a template for an emergency procedure for your store. So you can go through this, fill in the blanks and personalise it to suit your store, just to make sure that you're fully compliant and that if you do have an emergency, everybody knows how to behave. Also in here, you'll find a little non-smoking <laughs> sign, which you can pop up at the door, and hazard notification sign which needs to be posted close to your front door so that it's visible from the road. Good luck with your firework sales. I hope it goes really well for you and thank you very much for choosing to work with Pyro Company Fireworks.